So we see here the Mega Thestalos coming down. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to round 10 round of 10. YCS Rimini 2017. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my rounds then. I kind of didn't want to say rounds, but I just kind of just just kind of happened. Yeah, just yeah, happened. That definitely happened. Yeah. So um, we've got some interesting decks for you in round 10. But first, let's take a look at our deck breakdowns and country breakdowns and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So going into round 10. So this is day two. We are looking at a conversion rate, <laughs> an interesting one that is. Um, I'm saying that, but it's pretty much exactly the same as what we were expecting. Yeah. Uh, Zodiac and True Draco completely dominating. Mm -hmm. True, Dra True Draco, Zodiac just behind that. Zodiac Kaiju, you know, the one that I was saying, you know what, I think I've heard good things about that. Mm. That's there. Uh, Chainbirds at five, Trick Stars at three, <coughs> Tricking Dino at three, and then we've got 32 others. Uh, if we compare that to the end of day one, at the end of day one, we didn't look at this, but ABC randomly turned up. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, so it, conversion rate wise, hmm. let's see. Well, Chainburn is showing up great. Yeah, Chainburn's showing up again, so that's great. Uh, they come back out. Uh, they're doing a bit better than Tricking Dino, which went from 31 decks to three. Um, so they're not doing fantastically at the moment in terms of conversion. Your trick star has gone down from 15 to 3. We are going to be showing one this round. So that's going to be a treat for you all. Uh, Zodiac Kaiju dropping from 25 to 12. And yeah, true, true Draco, Zodiac, True Draco and Zodiac not dropping by a huge amount when you consider that a lot of people were cut from the tournament yep. at the start of day one. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at our country breakdown. Let's start from round one. Yeah, as expected, lots of Italians showing up. Yeah. And let's go straight to the end of day end of day one, where we saw a bit of a change. Yeah, over 200 mm. Italians uh, left the tournament there. Uh, we had yeah. over 100 uh, people from Germany leave. Uh, we went from 60 to 29 in France. Uh, the United Kingdom was... Halved. <laughs> halved, yeah. Roughly. Uh, Switzerland, around the same. Uh, Austria has halved. Uh, Bulgaria, again, is just over halved. And Greece has actually not lost a lot. Greece only had 11 players in contention to start off with, and they've gone to seven at yeah. the end of day one. Looking at it now... We have... Still looking pretty good. Yeah, still looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good conversion uh, rates. Yeah, really we've basically kind of gone around what we had originally with Italy and Germany, then France, United Kingdom, and then Switzerland. Greece still doing a fantastic job of staying in the tournament. Uh, Austria and Bulgaria. And Hungary has jumped out of the other category mm -hmm. to show that, you know, they can do they can duel with the best of them. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the match that we've got coming up for you guys here. What decks we got, Marcello? Yeah, well, we have uh, El Medi from Italy, which is playing uh, more or less standard Zodiac list, but he has a lot of end chops, so seven end chops in total. Uh, and he's playing, as you were, Rob was saying, against Tricksters. So it will be the second time we see them uh, in the future match. Uh, and uh, it's not quite similar to the version that Pali was using, okay. with chain summoning and a lot more, let's say, risky combos, as mm -hmm. you were saying. It's more of a control version. He also has a lot of end chops, like, uh, of course, the Drawn and Lock Bears. We all know they are really important for the yeah. deck. Yeah. But he's also playing uh, Ghost Ogres, and uh, yeah, he has more or less an interesting deck. He's also using Eastern Fusion, and he has the really important card, which is Tissius. So he's able to go into some pretty exciting Synchro Monsters. Yeah. And uh, to name one on top of them, Blood Mephist, which nice. is uh, yeah the prize card. I mean, not many people still have that. It's pretty valuable, and it works great with the Trick Stars because it deals damage. Yeah. So, yeah. Even we'll more damage. Yeah, even more damage. So it might just be what's enough for stealing the deal. Yeah. So um, these guys, again, are kind of on the bubble pretty close to uh -huh. it. Um, so, yeah, both of them need to secure a victory here to, to really make sure that they stay in the tournament. So, without further ado, let's get on over to the table and see how this match goes. Mm. 
Here they are. So, uh, Sylvain's deck type is actually wrong. Yeah, it should be tricksters, as you can see. The, I know, it, it's also being honest, okay? Something not quite as common. And the end is okay. I guess you can go for the synchro play if he wants, but... And we just saw the Book of Eclipse, we also saw from Palo. It's really good in tricksters. A lot of synergy, just outing uh, problematic monsters, and also the draw part is quite relevant. But yeah, the light uh, stage is actually pretty good here. Uh, nothing that can stop it from El Medi. Do you think he would go for the synchro right away? I guess it's possible. Okay. Because let me check, I don't think he's playing any other uh, targets for this infusion. Doesn't look like it. So. Regen, maybe? Uh, I don't think it is there, but I mean, it's French, so I might be wrong, but I don't think it's there. So I think he's playing. I mean, it's it's reasonable. It's pretty easy to go for a synchro. Yeah. So for synchro's level 8, and he has a lot of those. Yeah. So. Yeah, the sea monster is actually really amazing. We've not seen anyone really utilize it to its full potential yet. Yeah. He's also playing, of course, multiple of goes Gofu, and that works great with uh, links, but also with synchros. So yeah, attack on this infusion. Mm -hmm. You could definitely see that this is a very kind of innovative version of oh. definitely this deck. There is the Dizius. For anyone wondering, it's just a level five uh, tuner monsters zombie. Yeah. He swapped them, and now he's able to go for the Synchro. Yeah, Omega is probably the, the one. Yeah. We're probably going to see the interaction we were talking about in day one, where you just use the effect of Omega, and it's going to yeah. come back to the main yeah. monster zones. Okay, just pass. Uh, El Media is Darkhold and Regeki, not really useful right now. And, wow, another Dark Hole. So, <laughs> quite an unfortunate series of draws, but, yeah. He still has a lot of Zeus, so he can make use of that end, but I think he, yeah, Salvain has a solemn warning, so that's going to hurt a lot. Dark Hole doesn't do much, it just forces the, neg the Omega. Yeah. Omega's going to run away. Let's see what he Goodbye. Get. I am Omega. I don't stay on the field for long. <laughs> no. Let's see. Another removal or a mo yeah. Oh, there goes the other dark hole. Okay. But he still has Regeki. Yeah. Yeah, he has a lot of Double those. Double dark hole Regeki. Now, he's not left with much of a choice. He can use his tanky, but as I said, he's going to be stopped for this turn by Solemn Warning. So, it's looking pretty good for Sylvain at the moment. And yeah, he's reading that because he's going to take more damage if he uses the for Fire Formation tanky. Of course, Trickster uh, isn't as conventional, so you want to be sure that you don't miss any of their effects. Tank is used. Yeah, I was speaking to a few players after after day one, and they were just kind of like, "Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Trick Star is not a problem whatsoever. It's you know, no one, no one's, no one's really playing it. It doesn't do much. You know, kind of really playing it down. But we've, when it's been on stream, we've seen it do some pretty yeah. amazing stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, I've heard some players say that, but then as soon as I was telling them. Wait, there are a few tricksters at the top tables. I, I saw some worry in their faces, so I don't think they want to play against tricksters at all because they don't know it very well. So yeah, Ram Ram is added. Gets 200 damage, right? Or I believe so. 
Okay, so now we we can probably see the solemn warning. Yeah, most likely. No, that's um. Ah, oh, no, okay, yeah, 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 that's to accumulate with tricksters. So yeah, I think you just on the morning gear. You know, he has a different zoo. You don't want him risking drawing like shuffle reborn or barrage if he doesn't have it already, and he does use it. So correct. And now, yeah, Maddie can just bluff and set any of these cards and pass because he doesn't have any actual follow up. Sets both and yeah, yeah. pass Omega is gonna be back. Yeah. Let's so see what we can get. Candina is actually amazing to be able to just bring that back yeah. continuously, uh, continuously yeah. with Lycoris. Yeah, comes back to the monster zone. Best job on Lockwood. Yeah, pretty good pickup. He has the potential to do the combo here, but it's probably not that effective now. Yeah, now the, there are not many cards in his hand. Yeah. Also, the combo is much better when not expected. Because, of course, if you do expect it, you can just, I mean, you prevent just it. just sell all your cards and... Yeah. And then activate the search one as the last. An empty hand is a happy hand. <laughs> okay. Candina is used. And he still has the ability. Yeah. So, yeah. If Lily Bell gets added to the hand, you can just special summon it. Yep. And then it can attack your opponent directly. And if it does inflict damage, then you can add a Trick Star monster from your graveyard to your hand, mm -hmm. which is fantastic if you can add back a Lycoris and then immediately bring back yeah, Lily and Bell. We know one Lycoris is already there, so yep. that's going to work. He's actually got <laughs> a pretty crazy combo right now. Yeah, insane combos. And El Mary doesn't have anything to stop it, so I think he's quite short now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Especially this Lily Bell combo is going to do a surprising amount of damage. Yeah. And each one of these monsters that's inflicting damage here is inflicting an extra 200 from light yeah, stage. It might just be over, honestly. It's pretty close. Yeah, I think it may be, actually. Yeah, because uh, Lily Bell is on doing 1,000 damage. Candida's doing 2,000 damage, so that's 3,000, yeah, 2,800. Yeah, it should be, right? Because now you summon the Lagros back. Yeah. And yeah. it should be enough. Yeah, and then that does another set of damage. Even if it isn't right now, another 400 damage yeah, in the draw phase. When he draws, so I, I think it should be pretty much over. Yeah. Oh, that's a quick first game. Yeah, wow. Seeing what Trickstar can Impressive, do. Impressive, yeah. It's a shame that we didn't get the uh, drawn lockbird. I yeah. would love to see <laughs> that combo. But I, it's only uh, really good turn one. Yeah, I think uh, this this version also makes sense. Like when you don't draw it, you're still able to go for some synchro plays. I think the idea is oh. actually correct. Apparently, still on two thousand two hundred. Uh, I, I think without the lycoris, though. Yeah, I think that is without the lycoris for sure, at least. Yeah. Yeah, that should be without the lycoris. So, if you just attack with the lycoris. Yeah. It's another 1800 damage. Yeah, yeah. so he's 400. He's gonna he's gonna draws. Draws. When he draws, he's just gonna burn himself. Yeah. There's no. <laughs> I mean, unless he's got a face down life equalizer. Even then, it, it doesn't matter because it doesn't even activate. So. Yeah, that's where uh, what happened also yesterday. It doesn't activate, so there is no way to prevent it right now. Yeah, there's, there's no window for this. Yeah. Oh, he's just explaining you just died. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, wow, quite an impressive show by Tricksters again. And uh, you fool, your end was inevitable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the two turns uh, killed by Sylvain. Wow, Trickstars are pretty good. Yeah, they are. Strong. People say like, this is the thing, you know. I, there's so many different people who are just saying, yeah, they don't do anything. Fools. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna quote you when uh, when I get someone else to say that. When <laughs> when someone else says to me, yeah, yeah, they don't do they don't do anything. They don't do anything. Fools. Fools. <laughs> who who, right. who said that? Yeah, Mar Marcello Barberi, third place, <laughs> world championship. Oh, okay. Guess we should pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. People just don't yeah. don't engage with it. 
You should never underestimate something before you actually try it even or whatever. And even then, there might be people who have different ideas, so... We saw two tricksters on stream and they are completely different, so... Yeah, you yeah. can see that this deck has a lot of deck building potential. Yes, exactly. There's multiple versions of this. Mm -hmm. So looking at the side decks real quick, uh, El Medi uh, is probably a little bit confused. I guess he's going to board in the Twin Twisters and potentially the Magic Deflectors. They are pretty okay in this matchup. Um, while Sylvain has Kaijus and a few outs for the Spell and Traps. It's Pegasus music. Yeah. There we go. So, yes. So, corrected for the second game, Sylvain is actually playing Trickstars. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a super strange, super teched out zoo deck. <laughs> However, zoo No, he just sides out. Sides out the zoo. Yeah, he has a 30 card side deck. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I think you would need an more than 30 40 cards. For a 40 card side deck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed somehow. Uh, it would be no Pegasus challenge. But that's just playing another deck in yeah. game two. Something worth mentioning is Sylvain is citing uh, copies of Aniwata, which is a uh, pretty touch card against the Chain Barns and the Mirror Match, I guess. And yeah. Chain Barns are actually doing quite well at the moment. There are two in the top tables, and uh, he is probably happy to play against those if he has Aniwata in his deck. That would be phenomenal if he played yeah. against played, played against Chamber and, and then <laughs> managed to use that. Yeah, that would be unbelievable. We just need some tunes on on the live stream. That's what it is. We could have had them round one. Yeah. <laughs> because they kind of weren't in the tournament by round three. Yeah. <laughs> they they tailed <laughs> off pretty quickly. Yeah, Sylvain is actually playing Drawn Lockbirds. He's still yeah, playing yeah. that that part of the combo, but he's not playing like anything else. Disturbance yeah. strategy and all that kind of stuff. Do you think El Medi is just like, uh, what's going on? Yeah, I, don't, he, I guess he just thinks he's kind of just thinking to himself like, I want to play against the Zoo. I don't want to play against this. Mm -hmm. Is he playing Imperial Order? He's uh, yes. hiding it. So. Okay, let's game see. Two. Wow, really bad end for El Medi. He doesn't have any zoo. Oh, wow. He does not. Yeah. He does uh, have a rough. Ash Blossom. Yeah, he has some pretty good uh, f like traps. He has Magic Deflector Strike. They're all really good, but without any monsters, you're uh, actually taking in a lot of damage. Can you Ash Blossom and bring Carnation? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you should be able yeah, to. Yeah, I think so. Because it adds cards. Let's see. Yep, desires. So and he has some kaijus. Ghost Togger, I think. Yeah. It does. Okay. Part of desire is probably getting Ash Blossom. What color are, are these sleeves? Uh, Beige. Mm. I really like the color. They're kind of sandy. Mm. Yeah, Ooh. That's yeah, oh, no. All wizards here. Nothing too relevant though. That's good. So now he's left with uh, not too much. But I mean, might as well swing if he wants. I think he's keeping them though, is it? You can swing. I mean, if if your opponent bricked, you might as well put in some damage. 
because you still have a lot of damage available. And a Solemn Strike as a backup if he does draw into a zoo. And Soul Charge is extremely powerful, but extremely scary as well against Trick Stars because you just don't want to pay that many life points. Wow, he draws Ghost Ogre, so no monster still for El Medi. He might just be a forced to set the Ghost Ogre and protect some damage. Yeah, he does it. Just to have a quick check on our second feature match, we have a Zodiac versus um, Wind Witch Artifact Invoked. Oh. Light Stage is a great pickup. Let's see. Light Stage is so strong. Yeah. Especially here when he's got multiple back rows. I think, yeah, then, you know, sweet. Oh, no, Deflector, yeah, that's fair. But Still. Still, yeah, not feeling that well. I mean, Ghost Ogre is going to protect him for now, but he really needs to draw something. Let's see. Takes the damage. No, another trap, I think. I think it was Solemn Warning. That's not much use right now. Yeah, it is. Solemn yeah. Warning, wow. Wow. So many cards that pays life points. Yeah, strike Solemn Warning, but it's keep paying, so. Yeah, and he's taking 400 each yeah, time he exactly. adds a card as well. Uh, storming, wow. Light Stage is going to come back into use right now. The Storming actually works with oh, the Trickster. Why stars? did you not? Why did you not use Light Stage? Yeah, hmm? good question. 100% should have used Light Stage. Deflector doesn't negate it forever, right? No, no it doesn't. Only for the turn. Only for the yeah. turn. Yeah, definitely should have used the Light Stage. Yeah. Yeah, should have done. Yeah, I guess it slipped through his mind, but yeah, should have definitely done that. What did he draw? Nothing still, wow. That's that's actually even worse now, because that light stage would have cleared two of those back rows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he just thought that it negates it forever, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, honest. Wow, he's actually m like minus two right now. He could have been plus two. Yeah. That is a monster. Yeah, Ram Ram, but... I'm incredibly surprised that he's not using light stage. Yeah. Would have been huge, like Yeah. Well this, this like this next turn would it would have been a plus three. Yeah, because he's actually able to do that because he has the solemn strike for the Ram Ram like after he's used as an X or Z material. Yeah. Armor Kong. Chakarain doesn't do much because you cannot use it. Broad Bull is fine, but you also take extra damage. Yeah. I was saying, does yeah, that's true. Uh, th does the Trickster work with the Storming Mirror Force? Oh, and yes. that's it. It does, right? So, yeah, that's Snow pretty Gurus. good. Uh, oh, Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre, okay. Snow Rabbit. Yeah, oh, that's even better because he's going to take the burn damage from the add mm -hmm. and he's going to lose the Broad Bull yeah. and then next turn he can strike. Yeah, and uh, uh, as I was saying, if he soul charges now, that's okay, but <laughs> he like gets even more damage. <laughs> He's like, do I have to resolve the effect? Uh, do I? Come on. I mean, he has the strike, though, but I don't think he wants to use it. So he could potentially strike the Ghost Ogre, but... But then he's going to take 1,900 yeah. damage total. <laughs> yeah, there is no point. Yeah, looking weird. Oh yeah, the light stage would have made a world of difference right now. Yeah, absolutely. It's super powerful because it locks it down as well. It doesn't just destroy it in the end phase. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this this very next turn, he would have cleared out all three of those back rows. Mm -hmm. Wonder what he's explaining. That he's adding a card. I think he's explaining yeah. Lycoris. It's not just once per turn; it's whenever. <laughs> can, oh. can he ash blossom that? Okay, uses their information. What? A search. His own Broadbull, you mean? 
All right, yeah. I guess. Yeah, right. sure. <laughs> um, oh, I thought I thought you were saying that for some reason that ah, the Sylvain was able yeah, to yeah. search. Okay, strike there, and well, it's not too much damage, but I think we're just checking if you can ash reincarnation. Mm -hmm. um, on our second feature match, quick update. So uh, Jonas uh, Kosh won with Wind Witch Invoked Artifact. Oh. What is he revealing? Okay, he dropped that Imperial Order, and that's not good right now. So he gets 800 more? Yeah, plus Ouch. 200 from Light Stage. Don't forget the 200 from Light Stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah I meant. Oh, oh, yeah, three cards. Yeah, 800 for them. Oh, oh. Two cards. Two cards only. Yeah, so 600. Ah, okay, it's 200 per card and then 200 and plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not 200. Yeah, oh, no, not 200 per 200. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Marcello breaking the game again. You broke Chainburn yesterday and <laughs> now you're, you're trying to break Trickstars. So. Uh, and now he also lost the second layer of summoning, which was so charged. So yeah. he, he, there's nothing he can do. A tank tanky as well. If he plays tanky, he's gonna yeah. he does even more <laughs> damage. That's actually annoying. Yeah, it's it's kind of a case of if you do anything, then you're just uh, uh, hurting yourself. Okay, now he remembers about last stage, and oh, that was a strike. Yeah, that's not nice. Here is what Elmedi has on the table, and he replaces uh, it. Does it still work? It no, it? I don't it, think it, so. Right? No. So okay. <laughs> I don't think he knows that though. Candina. Yeah, I think he's choosing another one. No, he chooses. Same. Okay. No, okay, so he does know that. He okay. just wanted to. Just maybe he wanted to bait some cyclone or something. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Candina is used. Uh, cannot use it though. Yeah. Hmm? Can he? No. No, he can't use it. Because it's locked until then phase, so. Yeah, he And can't. then it's destroyed because he can't activate yeah, it yeah, immediately. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, he has the warning, but. Do you really want to pay that much? That's a lot of life points. Yeah. I mean... Oh, wow, that hurts, though. Would yeah. you warning that? That's a lot of life wow. points. Yeah, especially when he's got honest. Yeah, he's just... Like at any point, at, at any point. point, he could just run into like the I think kaiju. With even honest. now, yeah, even now, he would have game. Yeah, if he goes kaiju and then honest, as long as it goes through, I yeah, mean, there's nothing to stop it. I think he's yeah, consider he that, he is considering it. Yeah, but yeah, I guess you just play it safe for now. But it is not like there are a lot of things can, that can go wrong. Okay, gets it back, and that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he actually. Yeah, he had another reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the reincarnation, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm excited to see honest for game. Uh, yeah, honest doesn't work here, but <laughs> he's just like, yeah, no. he was about oh, to do it, but then he's yeah. like, no. Um, okay. I believe he can actually um, tributes Ghost Ogre as well. Yeah, he can send it to the graveyard. On what? From for what effect? Just, just in general, he can use this effect on the ah, field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's, not, it's not something people realize because they always think of it as yeah. a hand trap, but you yeah, can also activate it on the field. It's the only one of the sisters, let's say, within Ash Blossom and Winter Cherries, but yeah. it's quite relevant. And there's another 400 damage. Yeah, and what's he drawn into? Uh, let's take a look. It is a zoo, I think a Terror Blade. Yeah. <laughs> Even then, if you played through a Blade of Fate, like, not that you can, yeah, but. He doesn't <laughs> have any. <laughs> You don't really want to at this point. You just yeah, but at this point you're he can only add four more cards to his hand before he loses the you game. You just lose to honest at this point, if you don't think about it. Yeah, just messing around. Okay, destroy the ligers. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Yeah. Why didn't he get a search with the? Oh, because he got rid of the trick star reincarnation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna use combo. Yeah. He's back in the game, but yeah, still super low, so. Still all very unideal mm -hmm. here for our Zoo player. We're just playing the best with what he's got. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's just, 
he's got into a really, really tough spot here. I still think that that light stage could be yeah, used earlier. It would have made a world of difference because he wouldn't have been able to warning the Candina and yeah. He would just, he just have no back row now, right? Yeah. No, he, he had like the those two, so one one of those two, but that, all of the one you already used, with they were gone. So yeah, and he would. I I think at that point he would have definitely done the honest play. Yeah. With the fact he just had four or yeah, five yeah, back yeah. rows makes he it. He would have only had like one back row, so yeah. Again, he's gonna. Oh no! Okay, no, he doesn't yeah, have to yeah, pay the, the is, is, is yeah. gone now. Still, if he decides to attack at any point here, he's gonna just yeah, super risky. Yeah. What's can he not attack actually? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred also. Yeah. So it's yeah, that's it's Stratos, but in a two-two. What? <laughs> 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 it is. No, I'm just imagining Stratos in a two-two. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's almost as fetching as much Yeah. <laughs> It wouldn't be very aerodynamic, though, would it? No. For Stratos to be wearing a tutu. Let's I don't be know. Ballerinas are quite aerodynamic. And they wear tutus. Okay. Hmm? Okay. So at, at any point, if he actually goes for a big zoo and attacks that, he's done. Yeah, job done. So let's see. Check a nine. Yeah, so he's going to check a nine, get back the Dryden. Get, yeah, the double Dryden. Tiger Mortar. Like he already used one Dryden this turn. Yeah, but he didn't uh, summon it, did he? Yeah, I Oh, think no, so. he did, yeah. yeah it he, was the he first thing he did, and then he comboed over it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, reading a little bit. Uh, actually, yeah, Candina has another effect. Every time you use an effect, you take 200 damage. Any effect? Uh, I need to remind let's myself. Let's, yeah, let's check it, because that would be... Uh, spell and trap. Sorry. Okay. Spell and trap. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Did he? No, he didn't use any. Yeah. The judges just mentioned that both players are playing multi-language decks, so they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just swapping cards around. Ah, yeah. To make it, to make them English. Yeah. Just so they both understand. So yeah, get back the Dryden. Yeah, Dryden is back. He's playing around and honest. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think he's not even on his radar. I, I think in general his game plan just just doesn't intersect with honest right now. Yeah. Because he has no reason to attack. He just can't attack simply. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't have, have enough big attack enough. points. Yeah. Yeah. So he's lucky that that's the case. Yeah. It's one of those things where like he's you know there's a there's an, I mean, but he might be punished by Mistress actually if he goes for Mistress now. That's he, true. He can attack over it because it's 1900. Yeah. So that would be the stating for him. Yeah. It's one of those things where like I feel the path the pathway to him losing. Okay, now he takes more damage yes, from Candina. He'll take four hundred from Candina. If you have a Lycoris and Candina on the field, Tenki actually costs <laughs> you eight hundred life points. Yes. <laughs> right, so he's on twelve hundred left. Okay. Basically scout at that point. Yeah, I mean that even just the, the Tenki Adding that 100 is gonna gonna help yeah. to to get to the point where in where he's in this mindset of I need to attack. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's looking really tough for him. I do remember the last time we saw someone on 800 life points on the red team, though. This they is nice true, but nice. that guy wasn't sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh wow, I think he is actually going for the double whip tail. Yeah, he is. That's gonna be. That's gonna be horrible. Dating. Yeah. Oh wow, he's uh, he, he is. is. Yeah, honest for game. Oh, honest for game. Honest. Oh my oh, god. My. The reaction. Oh. He is stunned. Yeah, oh. Like a... oh. Oh. Handshakes incoming soon. That's only is he gonna, the first is he game. Shake right? the hand? Yeah. It's over. That's only the first game. No, that's the second. Oh, it's like, game. oh yeah, of course. Yeah, no, yeah. This is over second. already. There's yeah. Handshake. Wow. Oh. Wow. Let's go to our post-match discussion to talk about that. Hey, we're here in our post-match discussion. I thought, uh, yeah, the the first game was so quick. That yeah, yeah. That that was just quick in general. It's honest for game. Honest for game. Yeah, honest that is for pretty game. Wow. Honest for game. <laughs> I've yeah. not seen honest for game for a long time. No, that as we said, that was one of those situations where like yeah. he was kind of struggling to get into the pathway that would actually be his downfall, and 
he thought, yeah, yeah, if I managed to get this, you know, get a bit more research, yeah, get, I mean, get over the candy. You can't blame him. He tried his oh best no. to just come back. His, he drew a zoo very late in the game. Mm. And yeah, there is no way. I mean, I, I, we saw, like, having perfect deformation, there was no way he would have won the game with Honest. Cause, like, next no. turn, you could just kaiju the Dryden and then attack with Honest. Yeah. So, it's just yeah. It's, it's, I love Yu Gi Oh! because that's one of those situations where he. His most optimal line of plays was actually the worst. <laughs> I, I, you know, it, I love yeah, that because in, sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh as well, you have it where um, your worst line of plays, where you think, "Oh, that's definitely not yeah. the way to go," is actually your best. And you know, it's it's a fun, a fun kind of thing to think about. Yeah, yeah. I just like that about the, about Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. in general. It's one of those things where you, when you come up against a deck like that, you have to change the entire way you play your deck. Just yeah. like when Marcello was saying and you were saying about when you're playing against Chamber and you have to make weird yeah. plays. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. whenever you ma whenever you play a card, you're going to take damage. Yeah, you that kind feels of have weird. to. Like, um, yeah, you have eight thousand life points. Four hundred damage is not that much. Yeah, but I I'd like to go back in that game and see how many times he actually ticked for four hundred damage. Yeah, yeah. it the was a lot. The thing is that usually when you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Life points are one of your resources that I, I personally am like a fan of saying uh, if I am with one life point left, I'm winning the game. That doesn't matter. So yeah. uh, when you're playing against Chainburn or Trickster especially, that changes completely. And people are not that used to that. So they have to change their yeah. style completely accordingly. Yeah. And uh, I was right calling them fools. Like Trickster Chuo, just Chuo Zoo. And he, again, just like the other future match we had, they didn't have any FTK combo. They didn't no. draw draw the lock or any cards like that, and no. he still dominated a grand game. Yeah, there was no kind of one trick pony kind of stuff going oh, on. Exactly. That was consistent kind of yeah, damage. And, and he actually didn't even use the light stage, as you were saying. He would have yeah. been able to clear like three back rows. He didn't even do that, and he still yeah. uh, came out on top. So yeah, looking at the like, light stage would have ended up being like a plus four, plus yeah, five. Light stage would have been game. insane. Yeah. That's just crazy. That's like, <laughs> there's no compare. You know, there's nothing to compare that to. That, yeah, that yeah. would have been Once so much advantage. Typhoon, it's huge. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, we are quite a few minutes over time, so we're gonna go and have a look, see how many tables are left in the main mm -hmm. main event stage. We may be able to get an interview with our winner, but just a quick one. Uh, our yeah. our uh, actual secondary match was Zodiac versus. Uh, invo win which invoked, yes, yeah, and win which invoked actually won. Yeah, mm -hmm. so maybe maybe we uh, get them on for our next future match if you guys think that would be good. We've not seen a uh, an invoked deck yeah, yet yeah. this weekend, but either way, we're going to be back with great live coverage from YCS Rimini 2017. See you guys soon.